Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Lash of Zelda of Arena of Time. Since last time I managed to bring a chicken all the way here. There are a few steps on the way, but just throw the, the chicken up and climb up to it. And catch it before it runs into the water and die chicken. Oh well. Piece of heart, heart container. Excellent! Let's go! Words! Ellipses! Yes! <laughs> By the way, now that we have Zora's scale, guess what we can do? We can go down here and directly to the forest. Not gonna show that off because loading streams. I hate them, even if they are so short. And we need to get back to Zora's domain. Once inside, I'm, I promise we are gonna read the thing. The letter. On another note, I managed to buy 8 out of 10 of the magic beans. Wah! Son, you're not even there. You're behind the wall. Behind the... Behind the world, even. Um... So, yeah. We technically have eight of the magic beans. And I plan to plant them all. Yeah, well, no. Inside his belly. And don't tell my father. Well, you know the rules of every good RPG. Which apply here as well, apparently. If someone tells you not to do something, you must therefore do it. Yo, old man. <clears throat> I have a letter for you. Yes, yes it is. Well, well. Hmm. We respectfully received a bottle. The slowest thing on legs. I think it takes a full 30 seconds or so for him to move over. Why would you do that, Nintendo? Really? You are monsters. Monsters! I think that also there's a speedrun trick to go right past him and swim under the water. Also, the invisible ball begins here. Interesting. So. Um, spoiler, we are gonna need a fish. That's why I'm running back here. Also, I may play that mini game, that diving mini game some more for money so I can buy the last two match beans before I forget that they exist. Oh well. We get a fish. We can sell it at that dude who claps his knees on the market. He's a weird one. But um, what we need to use it for is actually to open up Lord Chabu Chabu's ballet. Before we go in there though, there's a little something I'd like to get. Oh well. That's a big fish. Well, maybe it's not a fish, maybe it's a thing, like the windfish, which is actually not a fish at all. 
Oh, oh, all right. We won't do that then. I don't think time advances in this place, but I'm not entirely certain. Well, who cares for really? you? Also, spider. And it dies. As for this bomb, you probably want to place it as close to that big black rock, which you can't do anything about, as possible, just to clear, just to save a bomb later. In here we have another one of them barely clothed ladies. So let's pay her a visit. Maybe we get some more magic. Okay, she's wearing boots. That counts as one or two pieces of clothing. Good question, actually. Hmm, a magic spell. So green and shiny. You know it's magic, and it's green and shiny. This is Farrower's Wind, a pretty nice warp magic. The first time you activate it, you create a warp point. And when you use it again, you can go back to that warp point. As long as you are in the same dungeon, I think. Also, what she's saying there? Lies. You can also use it in some dungeons that, that don't have maps. I know that one for a fact. Because I usually plonk one down before the final boss and that dungeon doesn't have a map. So. <clears throat> there are, I think, two more spiders in this place, but we can't reach either of them at this point. So, this is Lord Chabu Chabu. And you need to feed him a fish to get inside. However, there is another method of getting in there. You have to line yourself up with something uh, at the nose or so. And then you can somehow jump in there through us one of these seams that be in the polygon areas into the loading zone. It's awfully glitchy and I'm not gonna do it. Hence why I have fish. That's one mighty sucking you do there, Lord Chabu Chabu. Oh well. So, I think someone said in the comments they um, gave up on this game in this dungeon. Because, well, this is where things get right hard. I'd say, first thing first, let's destroy all enemies. How? No! Why are there... Oh, game! Why are there cows in the walls? I wonder, was ROM hacking already a thing when this game came out? Otherwise, I dare say Nintendo did it first. So, what do we get? Nuts, seeds, 
comfortable. That would probably have been a heart. Aha! Stitch! Oh wow! A big chest right now? Well, I shan't be comp the one complaining. Oh wow, the map! Well, what else could it have been? The boss key? I doubt it. Hmm. Doesn't look too complicated. And quite small, really. I'm probably gonna regret this world so hard. So, I don't see anything else, so let's shoot the cows. Well, there's a chest. To be honest, I was ex kind of expecting a trapped chest. Aha! <clears throat> also, yeah, this is how they hide um, switches. Isn't it fun? Poor cows. <laughs> ah, this looks all kinds of unpleasant. So can I hit this cow without being, being killed? Ah! Oh. Run, Link! Run, 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 run. Shit. Yeah. Let's go down here. It seems safe-ish. Oh wow, more deconuts. Um, amazing. Is there a cow down there drowning in the water? By the way, ah! Oh dang. Yes, it's a cow. Why are there cows? Stop being so weird, game. Um, this area normally is some, some sort of secret area where you can find a deco scrub. Who said Deco Shields in the original game? I think. Don't quote me on that one though. That opens a door up top, I think. And I'm guessing. Huh. Well, a chest is a chest. Now we can see ourselves on the map as well. Hmm. Seems like there's a chest right in front of the room where the boss is. And I mean in the in the room we have already visited. Also in the original version you pretty much don't get um compass and map until pretty late in the dungeon. I think you get it, you get both of them after you... Ow! Get the dungeon item. So, let's have a look around, shall we? Hmm. Ow! Can I make this jump? No, I can't. And I can't get into that door either. Hmm. Yep, this dungeon is definitely where things are picking up. This is a completely new route you have to take here. Well, not completely, because we still go this way first. But you don't really go down there. At first. It's a lady! She has four eyes! Ooh. Huh. Is 
isn't she adorable? Yep, definitely. <laughs> so we could go after her or we could stay around. Um, let's go after her. Down the hole. Hello, lady. How's it going? Link, tell her you fell madly in love with her and she will... She will do a thing, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed. I kind of um, met them, so to speak. Huh. Talk to her once again. Yes. No. Maybe. Wait, the honor of carrying you? Well, at least we can grab her. Huh? So that's nice. Oh, oh, oh. And we can throw her. Bah! Come here, come here, come here, come here. That didn't work. Ah! Target the thing, throw the thing. That didn't work. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Cows! And lots of slimy things everywhere. Yuck. So, how are we gonna do this? I can't just attack this guy, can I? Well, let's say yes I can. So, is there anything these cows will do for me? You make a chest up here. You make a chest up here. Where are these chests? Well, don't... Oh, dang. Can I get back up to Ruto? I darn well hope so. Also, the walls make sounds when you slash them. You are in a living being, after all. What's that do? Wah! Well, at least I can get back to Ruto, I guess. Ooh, Bonchu! Seriously? We may have a need for them in this game, much more so than in the original version. So, let's try and hit that switch first. Okay. Okay. So, what you're saying is... We need to bring Miss Tomboy Princess. <sighs> Can't ride the thing up, unfortunately. It pushes me away. So, we need to bring Miss Tomboy Princess and plonk her on the switch. Yep, working fine. Also, that worked, apparently. So, next time, we'll explore this room. And the rest of this infernal dungeon. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Next time, more Belly of the Chabu Chabu. Um, this is Leon, and fairly well.